So hello people, how are you going today? My name is Glenn and today I had some um, demonetized Malaysian one ringgit coins and probably wondering oh why are you making a video? Well in this video I'm just going to demonstrate a why they took this coin out of circulation. So hello people this is Glenn back with another educational coin video and today well, I'm going to tell you why they took this coin out of circulation. So, as you can see, I have various years of one ringgit coins. So, this is the first issue, this is the second issue. And, um, well, they had a problem with these coins. Well, at the start, they had counterfeiting problems. That's basically the main reason they were withdrawn from circulation. As you can see, the uh, aluminium bronze, if I bring in the one Australian dollar and put it next to it, they're actually quite the same, except for the reading on the side. The dimensions is pretty much the same, so is the weight and metal. And with these coins, I actually got these when they were used in Malaysia in the 90s as change for one Australian dollar. So this coin is fine. As you can see it's fine. This is actually an original coin, not a counterfeit. And the same with these ones. Now this one you might think might be a counterfeit. Because here's another 1982 92. And the reading well the reading looks fine on both of them. But you see this one looks a bit square shaped and that one looks a bit round. That's only because with the reading, they actually uh, shave some of the metal off of the side. But apart from that, this coin is fine. It's not a counterfeit. So let's have a look at the other coins. Ooh, what is this? That looks a bit funny. This one does too. Uh, this one, that one looks a bit the same as that coin. 93. And let's have a look at the reading. Yeah, that's fine. How about that side? Let's have a look at this coin. Oh, that reading looks a bit funny. If we put them together, that reading, oh, that does not look good at all. How about this coin? Let's put the three of them together. Oh, the reading on that one is terrible. Looks like a botched job done in the backyard. Let's have a look at the reverses of the coins. No, this one looks pretty flat. Looks pretty, looks like it's been, um, well, cast, not actually stamped. As you can see, there's no detail. And if you see, you can see that the middle has, um, looks like someone's put on a vise and ground it down a bit. But the reading on the side, proves that it is actually a counterfeit coin. This one's a little bit better. So if we have a look at this side, this is the obverse because it has Malaysia on it. Uh, Bank Negara, Malaysia, so the Central Bank of Malaysia. And, oh, that looks terrible. Have a look at that. This one actually looks like it's cast. So does that one. Uh, that one looks normal. And, when it is a cast coin, generally the lettering is pretty much okay. And as you can see on this coin, you can see the, the scratches going around it in a circle. So, and same with that coin as well. So, this one is a counterfeit coin. Yes. Focus, yep, there you go. This one is a counterfeit coin. And you can see it has pits on it. So it's pretty... Um, uh, definitive of it being cast. The reading is pretty, very terrible. That's that's terrible. If you actually looked at your coins, you wouldn't accept this. And have a look at that side. That's terrible as well. As you can see, the actual circles that go around are also on the parts that have not been stamped. So it's actually not an after effect of um post mint damage 
and let's have a look at this side hmm well you can't really see it on that side but that looks a bit weird you can see the cracks down there as well and the reading's pretty terrible and this one looks looks pretty cast to me so people that is the main reason why these coins were withdrawn from circulation it's because they were heavily counterfeit like the United Kingdom one pound coin which they had to change because of um, the amount of fakes that were in circulation and those old one pound coins along with these one ringgit coins are no longer legal tender so they are just collector's items or metal value whichever one you value more so that answers your question why was the one ringgit withdrawn from circulation simple answer too many counterfeits government decided banknote was a lot more secure so thank you very much for watching and have an awesome coin collecting time and be careful if you change people because with high denominations you don't know if it's real or counterfeit bye bye